Hello, it's Dave Herman, alias Daz, the artist, working in Olympia, Washington at 2.40 in the afternoon on March 20th, 2017. I'm going to do a little background, then I'm going to do a, uh, maybe a baboon baby, and we'll see what we get going here. But pay attention to these brushes and stuff. I'll work as fast as I can. So I've got brush number eight, and I'm going to go to grays, like so. Drag this little thing into the middle of the wheel. Let's pick a gray. Let's go very light. Let's make our brush a certain size. Now, eight's like a pastel. You can see it right there. By the way, we're at a 25% bristles, and the bristles are at 75% size. We're going to take that down a little bit to maybe in the 50s. Okay. Then I'm going to kind of just drag across. Let me just scale this up a little bit for the foreground. Some texture. I'm holding my pen. I'm not lifting it up so we don't get any diagonal lines in there. And creating ground in the front. And now I want to sort of feather that into the back. So I'm going to turn on the fluidity a little bit higher and just kind of give it a like that. Just a little weave, maybe. Uh, with a higher fluidity, it's even better. So you say you go up to like in the 60s and start up high and just kind of go like that. You see how that melted? And it gave us a background and a foreground. Kind of cool, right? Cool. So now, take your fluidity down to zero. And I'm going to pick a light tone. So move this dial on the color wheel until I find a color. Move this towards the center. It lightens it up. And then I'm still in the same brush. And I'm just going to put some flex in here. And I'm going to use brush number two, which is just a brush with, uh, there's 100% bristles. And bristles are 24% size. And we're just going to kind of put down a texture to our ground a little bit. Some little grit fading off into the distance. I don't care if it has lines like that. Okay. And then I can take another color and add some more grit. And add a little more grit, a little more dense. So I see some of that color. I'm pressing harder or soft. So now that when you see a wheel like that, of course you don't want that. But no biggie. We just go over it. Just lightly press. The minute you drag, you get that line like that. So you have to be clever enough not to do that, which can always be a rock. Uh, it's no big deal. You can then, of course, go into another tone and just start to make a rock. You know, these are some textured stones, whatever. See, like that. We got that going on. If you wanted to make grass with this same brush, and these are the things about creating your own textured brushes and stuff, you could... Go like this, and then you could just waft it up in a straight line or a curved line or anything from where you want it to start to where you want it to end. So I'm not going to go very deep uh, in opacity, and I'm going to make just a track of grass. See, like if I went like this, and I push hard. So um, I can change that color to brighter. And if I want less blades, then instead of a 100% brush, you take your bristles down to like 40-ish. And you could go a little more opacity. And then just kind of like this. There's some interesting stuff at the top there. We don't know what's happening. It's cool. You got some tufts of grass there. You can anchor that into the earth a little bit better. 
You can change your tones constantly, of course, for variety. Have some lighter blades of grass and some stuff wafting in there, okay, like so. Come right on down to the ground, all the way like that. Now, if you wanted some more textured earth like this, you go back to eight. And then I'm going to start to draw a baboon because I'm going to run out of time in 10 minutes. I always forget that I allocate 10 minutes. Okay, so let's find a nice tone and do some rock in the front like that. And we can go even darker and build some more rocks. And then, you know, you would outline these and highlight mid-tone shadow. See, this is like painting with a palette knife if you do traditional art. And you'd be familiar with that. You can have twigs and stuff. You could have a high piece of rock here. And just vary some tones and stuff and, you know, put it together with a palette knife. Thinking of your angle and stuff. And then come in with some highlights and vary your rocks and tones and stuff. So it's all, this could be thrashes of grass. If you want grass, you can go right to this. If you can have shades of plants, exotic stuff. Just with this brush eight and brush two that we used, okay? Now let's get into drawing a little baboon guy in here. So I'm gonna go to black and gray, do my little sketch really fast if I can. Master of Speed. Let's go to nine. Brush nine. <clears throat> nine. Come on, clicker. See how it just resists cooperating. So let's save this file. Let's see if that's its problem. Uh, it's not letting me save. So, I'm not going to worry about it. I want to keep going in this. I don't have to start over. Let's draw a little monkey. So we'll have our guy here. A little sketch. I might even go to uh, brush six. I'm really curious why it's not working like it's supposed to. <sighs> Some kind of uh, monkey business going on in my machine at the moment with Verve. Let's try again. Save. There we go. And to the desktop, and we'll call this monkey stuff. Sometimes it, it's thinking and you need to save. So let's wait a second for it to save that project because we've put a ton of stuff on there. But you watch how quick it'll do it. Boom. Okay. Now, before time runs out, uh, I better draw me a little monkey. So I'm going to come around here. And... Uh, I want to be in brush six. Okay, so a little eye here and a little eye there and a nose. Cute nose, a little face. It's got the little faces, their whole face is kind of like right in the front. Like this. And Cute there. They got big ears, so you give them a big ear. Just roughing them in. It's got a bigger head, then that comes back around like that. Going face forward. So kind of an angular chin. We're good with that. And then I'll put a body in here. Say like so. 
uh, he's going to have some arms, so I have an arm like that.